go. Make sure to uh, get out, get all the get all the things going on. I'm gonna get a beer. Yeah, get a beer. Stream starting in a sec. Actually, it is starting starting right now. I'm gonna go ahead and let Twitter know that I am fucking streaming. Hey guys, it's me, Cute Fuzzy Weasel. I'm on Discord with some people. And we're going to play an old ass game called Who Killed. Where is it? Sam Rupert, I think. Who Killed Sam Rupert. And mm. uh, it's the, it's a true crime, uh, uh, true crime full motion video game. And I'm, I'm literally only stalling just to send the uh, notification out on Twitter. Good evening. Yeah. Hello there, Miss. Hello there, Catman. Yes, I changed my name. Yeah, I used to play with a virtual machine for like Windows ninety five. I'd find a bunch of shareware game ISOs and just go to town just for fun. I'd streamed it a couple times. Yeah, we got to figure out who killed this guy, and then um, fuck. I guess a link to the stream. Yeah. I love cheesy FMV games. I love them. I think it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous mess. Oh, yeah. The, I'm trying to think of a the, good one, but I honestly can't. A good FMV game? game? Yeah, or... good, a good FMV game. Hmm. Fucking capsaicin. Made mm. the mistake of actually cutting peppers and just rub my mm. Would you consider Mist uh, an FMV game because it has a f quite a few in the game itself? Um, I would classify Mist as a point and click. I wouldn't really call it an FMV. Technically, I guess on on that level. <clears throat> Technically speaking, this is Ugh. also a point. But Jesus Christ, what are you there doing? We go. Snapping your leg back into place? What are you doing? Why are you making those horrible? You're like eating people, just going. What like, mean like sitting down because yeah. my legs hurt? Well, why are why are you why you got legs? Why do you have legs? You got uh, you got to stop having legs, dude. Yeah, that's a good point. Why do I have legs? Very, why do I have arms? Why do we have legs? Yeah, why do I have? Be like Tom Servo from MST3K. Just lose your legs and have a little hover thingy at the bottom. Ooh, I love that show. Little hover skirt. Oh, who, who is that guy? Uh, Furman D. Do. No, the guy. Oh, not him. I'm assuming someone else. Uh, the guy who made Paraplegic Man or something. Paraplegic Man? Yeah, that was like a cartoon made by a guy who couldn't use his arms and he draw a lot. Oh. All right, so never before, interesting. before we get started, I have to introduce the game. So this is a game called... Who killed Sam Rupert? Um, it's the uh, that's why I got my police sunglasses on. We're being we're gonna be solving a murder mystery, and we probably oh, won't nice. finish it tonight. Probably won't even finish it tonight because apparently, it takes a little bit. In fact, the uh, author, and this is back when games had authors, uh, said that uh, it's actually best if you have your own like notebook lying around. So I am going to bring up notebook. Oh boy, on laptop. Time to open up notepad. Yeah, oh, we're, not we're the on game a fun... or an actual dinosaur of a computer. No, this is this is a virtual machine. So it doesn't count. Oh, okay. Yeah. So oh, here we don't go. Don't call so, someone a gamer. Watch your ears, because the okay. intro. It's it, supposed I to swear be... that that looks like a Game Boy Color picture. I mean, Game Boy Camera picture. Yeah. I love it. It's art style. I'm in love. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, the oh. compression. I love it. <laughs> I love right. 90s game compression. It's amazing. So let me make this, like, full screen. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to make it full screen on the computer. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna you can probably do something in, like, the VM to make it larger, but I don't know if that's going to scale well. Oh god, um, I'm gonna start a new game. I it's so loud. I 
it's I'm so mad. loud. Okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do oh, a virtual God. machine full screen. It fucks everything. Oh, is this everything the guy? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I mean. It's not probably not the UI. It's not probably gonna scale yeah. up. I'm gonna be honest. I'm. 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 Is there? I'm gonna look for a way to like shut the fucking music off because <laughs> this sucks. Is it so that bad? I can't even hear it. Really? Yeah, I don't yep. think Discord like lets you hear it. I don't think it does. It, or... it does. I broadcasted games on Discord before, and the audio came through just fine. Oh. I, I, I hate to see what Microsoft's gonna do with it, and then they eventually buy it. God knows. Uh, probably gonna end up like Skype, and it's just gonna die alone. Yeah, that's what pisses me off the, the most. Like you spend this much money on a like a like a web service, and you're gonna spend literally the same type of web. You have two video chatting services. Like it doesn't compete with my brain. Yeah. Just make Skype better. And that's all you have to do. Why does the oh God, this Why font, does the notebook? This... Sound oh, is this like Comic Sans? Door. Uh, it's no. Like, uh, I, this oh, is, oh no. Damn. This is some it's kind like, of proto. It's proto Comic Sans. Proto Comic Sans. Oh, you got my hopes up. Oh Jesus Ooh. Christ! Is that supposed to be a timer? Oh my God! Is this game a timer? Time? What? What? Oh God! I don't want. Oh jeez. Oh okay. Time. All right. Well. Fuck. <laughs> I like his hair, by the way. I just want to point that out. Yeah, no wonder Maximize. he got killed. Look at that. That's a crime. Okay, maximizing didn't do anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he just made it worse. Yeah, maximizing just made it worse. Oh, no. This is why I don't miss about old computers. Do I... Here, you know what? I'm just going to go into here and, oh. and physically stretch out the picture. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> just so, just so people can see it. Yeah, like a very blurry compressed picture. Yes. Well, he's not too blurry. Well, I'm, uh, I mean, it's gonna be worse if you make it even bigger. Okay, I, I watched this. Okay, I checked out the stream on YouTube, and the audio on the YouTube stream goes through just fine. Well, maybe it's just like super fucking high to me. I oh. just blame the VM. Oh fuck! I'll just lower the volume on the. There we go. There you go. All right. So uh, let's see. We've got report of murder. The uh -huh. victim's name is Sam Rupert. Male Caucasian, age 41. It was her. Height, approximately six foot one and weighed it's the horse. It was the horse. The horse, horse did it. Extremely fancy it was YMS, of hey, course. Hey, hey, no, it's, we gotta it's fucking... got great food, but it's particularly famous for its wine cellar. So, That's okay. where the body was found. The body was found in a wine this cellar. Before anyone else was in. You got the all that just from the pictures? Around 6 she called it in a, a little later. 16 by 16 a video just played. Wine tastings, fancy dinners, that sort of thing. That's where he was, right next to the dining table. Oh, okay. There are no signs of struggle, and the only apparent oh, is a small puncture in the side of the neck, <laughs> yeah. just below his neck. He's got a yellow. Ear. He's got like a only little a pink thing on his neck. Whoa. So am I. Thinks it may have been done by a pin, but there's nothing around. They estimate time of death at near midnight. The okay. crime scene people have been all over it, but we've left it for you to take a look for yourself. The more, the more it goes, the more confused more. I am. There are no yeah. signs of forced entry. Yeah. Is this some like weird chronological art up, film or something? Like Rupert was talking on the phone in his office when the last staff left at 6 p.m. Six like, I'm seeing pictures, but I'm still not connected to that. You can't hear it, not can you? No. Oh, wait, is it supposed to be talking to you? It's, yeah, it's talking to me. Okay, I'm just, I'm seeing pictures, and it's not explaining shit. Yeah, if you go on this, if you go on his YouTube page, the audio comes through just fine. But for through Discord, I can only hear you guys, but it's fine. I mean, I think it's a lot funnier without knowing the context, but... Like that, like some lady in a Hawaiian hat just handed that guy a check, and now he's dead. Ugh. This is like if plumbers don't wear ties broke into Twin Peaks murder mystery. <laughs> okay, so he was... Uh, that was pretty good. That was actually pretty good. He was killed. He was killed in the wine cellar. He had a puncture in his neck. There's like one drop okay. of blood. So whatever killed him, killed him really, really quick. Okay. So let's take a look uh, at the crime scene. I just got a, I just got a reminder of Deadly Premonition. Click on... Uh, they made a sequel to that. Click on yep, any object for the for the screen to get a closer look. Can I get like a closer mm. look of his ass? 
You're gonna click. Yep, I knew you were gonna click on his ass. How did I? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Damn. Yo, he's got Donald Trump butt. Holy shit. Ugh. How close? Mm. All right, can I like move? All right, so. I will examine the creases around his ass. Zoom. Did it. It forensic Dr. help. Yes, forensics. I want you to scan the creases on his ass. Right pants pockets contain a key ring with several keys, a billfold containing three hundred dollars in new fifties, a receipt from Von Asperg's Jewelers for one solitaire diamond ring, three point four carats flawless, forty two. Okay, so he like now just pays inflation. too much. Um. Hmm. All right. Uh, how do I get? How do you zoom in? I want to zoom out. <laughs> maybe, zoom in. Click on, maybe click on the ass again? I don't know. Computer, <laughs> enhance. BC, <Enhance. laughs> or what are they saying? Blade Runner. Enhance. 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 That only works on CSI Miami. In fact, <laughs> screenshot that, put it through uh, Adobe like, go, Photoshop, and it. zoom in farther. <laughs> oh boy, we're creating memes here almost. Put like, the piss filter this, on this it. This is kind of yeah. like Blade Runner, actually. The way, yeah, really. Like if you listen, you can't. Well, I mean, you can't hear it, but it sounds like, like, like the machine in Blade Runner. Yeah. Yeah. So let's take a look. I'm 36, and I still need to watch Blade Runner one of these days. Luminol exam reveals a small blood stain under the left breast pocket of a tweed jacket. Blood stain surrounds a small slit in the fabric. Appears to be a stab wound previously unidentified. So someone came up to him and stabbed him in the chest and then stabbed him in the neck. Huh. Yeah, somebody clearly wanted this guy dead. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Jacket pocket contains a small velvet jewelry box containing one large diamond solitaire. Appears to match diamond described. Oh, okay, okay. I think he may have been trying, like, getting ready to propose to somebody. Was it the lady in the pictures? Or was it, it some other separate? Um, it might have been. It might have okay. been. Um,. Yeah, join uh join me on uh I, I wish there was a way to get Discord like talking to you. Like being able hmm. to hear it. Do I have to Cuz normally when I hit stream, it streams video and audio. Hmm. Uh maybe it's only available on Discord Nitro, who knows. Oh, no, I've done it before. Bullshit. I've done it before without Nitro, and it's just—I think what it might be is it's a virtual machine, and Discord really doesn't know what to do oh, with the audio. Oh yeah, M maybe that has something to do with it. Mm. Damn it! Discord's not available on ninety-eight. Shit. <laughs> uh, shit. All right. Uh, fabric <laughs> analysis of the victim's jacket reveals presence of numerous foreign fibers believed to be red cashmere wool. It looks like he's cut. Looks like oh, his no. jacket's covered in cat hair or something. So oh no, it's Led Zeppelin. Oh no, a large cashmere cat. Attacked oh, him Ty is Tyler him. gonna be a suspect? <laughs> no. Oh no. Finger no with fingerprints Tyler. available from the jacket or pants. Set of unidentified prints on victim's tie. Mm. Unidentified mm. prints do not match. Yeah. Unidentified prints on candle. Huh. Maybe someone grabbed him by his tie and like stabbed him in the fucking eye socket. Maybe it was Professor Plum. Hmm. You know, clue. Hey, what's on the desk? Uh, the table. Or is it too hard? Yeah. Uh, A wine. Looks like wine. Uh, hey, what's that pointy thing? Probably the candle. Ah, uh, probably, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Glass on the victim's right has several sets of victim's print. Glass on the left has no prints. So there was two glasses, which means he was like pouring one for another person, which probably means he knew the person. Yeah, but... No, no. Oh, you're right, it's a candle. The other glass didn't can have prints. Oh, the other wow, glass didn't have prints. So he poured... So... He was, he was going to propose to somebody. He was waiting for someone... To go down there, he had the ring. Someone came along, grabbed him by, like, someone, 
snuck up on him, or maybe it was someone he knew, because they would have got had they, there was no evidence of a struggle, so it wasn't someone he didn't know. Someone he knew got close and stabbed him in the chest and in the neck. Uh. Several clear sets of fingerprints from the victim. One additional print, right index, owner unidentified. I hmm, swear to probably. God, they better not have killed him with the candle. I'm going to quit if it turns out they <laughs> killed him with the candle. Yeah, the candle killed him. Oh my God, it is a fucking timer. No! Okay, come on. Really? Five minutes? Oh. Or maybe that's just the game's way of telling you you're doing this at 5.30 in the afternoon? Not, not if it's counting backwards because we're at 6. Before. Yeah, it started at 6. Oh, okay, I didn't know. <laughs> Unless this I is, mean, like, some weird, like, uh, Twilight Zone where time moves backwards. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Fingerprints on table? No fingerprints found. What about that thing, like, the corkscrew? Uh, or I think that's corkscrew. It's hard to tell. Like, that team. Like, yeah, right there. The hands. The hands. No. Well, wait. No fingerprints. No prints. Hmm. Uh, 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 what's the year on that bottle? It might be a clue. <laughs> Ah, 1959. Oh wow, that yeah. was that was surprisingly clear. Okay, so a good the only, year. The only prints on that on that are are his own. Ah, Wait a minute, I totally, died Chateau. <laughs> I totally fucking missed something. Hold on, I gotta go back to the wine glass. Hmm. Because there was that. What is that? Both glasses. Oh. Were used. Were used. Trace and that's a saliva were found in each saliva it contains two different blood types both are secret mm. and this too is different this is before like dna evidence became like a big big thing oh yeah so, are you sure i uh, think forensic i know i i know but i don't i don't i know they took a big leap when they were able to find out like um like the like the average like uh race sex and stuff but I'd be it wasn't like that in death. This, this game will not have that as an option. I'd be willing to put money on. That. I mean, probably oh, I not. Would be, I would be impressed. Like Sherlock Holmes did forensics, I think. Was he like um, almost? Was he like almost had like a, a thing for like um, uh, chemists or something? I don't know, I'm probably thinking of something else, but five oh. He was like really. He was really knowledgeable in a lot of fields for some reason. Five oh five. Fuck hell. That. What the fuck is that? that What's right next not... to his shoe? Uh, mm. Time of... Let's see. Time the cost of crime forensic test is five... What? Wait, what? Five minutes each? Is just looking minutes around each, for free. Just looking around is for free. Forensic uh -huh. tests are five minutes each. Ah. I'm no. sorry. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, cool we carpet. got some green goop. We got some red goop. Let's try the green. Test indicates no additional blood stains. Okay. Mm. You've used an hour of time, detective. Five hours left. Okay. Did you hear that? No. I no. can't hear anything. Okay, so a little a voice just said you've you've spent an hour of your time, you got five hours left. You've used okay. an hour of time, detective. The game's chiding you. Five hours left. The game's chiding you. Analysis indicates no blood. You've used an hour of time. Oh my god, game, I know, I've used an hour of time. A single oh, threat. Apparently now it's only 4.55, so I'm assuming that each in-game hour is like what? It's it takes five minutes. Yeah. It takes him five minutes. The game deducts five minutes every time he does something in here. Oh, okay. So your actions determine how much it takes. Okay. Sai, um, I think we are uh, like police detectives. Um, uh, comments on YouTube. DNA test was actually a recent invention when this game came out, which was 1993, according to the net. The FBI started doing early DNA testing around I the late 1980s. I in my mouth. Hmm. I did not know that. That's actually a very interesting hmm. thing. All right. Fingerprints. No fingerprints. Damn. All right. Uh, is there anywhere else here? Really, there's no blood on the carpet. You would think there's that'd like be like like one drop of blood on the carpet. Whatever killed least... him did all the damage internal. Like he didn't bleed out. Internal. Hmm. 
I don't. Uh, can I like click on the? You got a lot of shoes back there. Oh yeah, the shoes. Good oh. thinking. Oh, it's just the carpet again. <laughs> All right, never mind. So it's not just any spot. It's like key point somewhere yeah, you can click. Yeah, I think it's it's oh. yeah, just like. Where, where is this going? Yeah, it's going right back. So wait, why does it let you zoom on his ass if that's a key point? Because then we were checking his pockets, both his. Oh, uh, okay, his ass pockets. Gotcha. And we were we were determining time of death by getting internal temperature. So what is this ear? Check it. Oh, oh it tells fuck. you the actual key <laughs> points of where you can click. Okay, well, great. Now I know. I think we're good. I think we, we're good for the crime scene. Uh, eight likely suspects. Oh, eight. Ooh. Mm. Cleaning lady, major D, head chef, girlfriend, head bartender, wife, assistant, angry customer. No butler. I don't recognize any of these actors as Star Trek alums, so... Sometimes they had a habit of getting into these games. Oh, cat. Jesus Christ. Yeah, cat? The cat, like, attacked my keyboard. Yeah. I'm in my room, and the, my cat's not allowed in my room. Cat's like, you've had enough computer today. I'll, I'll, I'll tell her when I'm done with computer Wait a minute, time. wait a minute. I have an idea. Hold on. I'm going to stop streaming, and then I'm going to just stream the desktop and see if you can get... If you can, like, do that. Ah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a big brain move. Can't hurt. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> modern problems require modern solutions. While using updated software, yes. Where the fuck is the damn desktop? Mm. Okay, wait a minute. OBS, I'll just stream you OBS. Haha. -ha. Okay, now do you hear something? Oh uh, yes, yeah. I see your I see your aviator sunglass. Are those aviators? I don't know. Yeah, but do you, do you hear anything? No. Just I you. Know. God damn it. <clears throat> I'm trying to get you Discord to be able to hear it by, like, tricking Discord to maybe doing stuff. Damn. Uh, that sucks. God for damn some, For some reason, Discord doesn't like virtual machines, I guess. Wait, oh. I can, what about What this? does Discord like? Screen. I'll just share the screen. Okay, now do you hear something? No. No, sir. <laughs> Dick. Well... Um... I might have an idea in OBS. Um... Let me look at something really quick, because I kind of had to do something like this. I, I did something, and I fit it, fixed it, so let me look at my OBS real quick, and I'll tell you right away. Well, while that's going on, I'll just share with you guys the... Share okay. With you guys the thing. Get me out. Something's off with the hedge. What? Head chef, look at him. Is that Raul Julia? No. I mean, if so. No, that's not Raul Julia. It looks a lot like Raul Julia, but it's not Raul Julia. I don't know, he has that face. Like he knows something. Alright, let's see what happens if I click on him. You know, not a single one of these people seem like they want to be here. Your name's Oh, fuck. No, you guys have David to be Sturz. able to hear it. Oh, oh no. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. I worked here for two years. Okay, just by his body language, I'm I'm kind of swinging towards him. I'll just go to YouTube and watch you. I'm good at it. I just don't like to work for someone yeah. else. I want my own place. But Sam didn't exactly see things my way. I'm sure. Yeah, fight about it a few days back. All right, so he and like Sam he had a fight. It's more like... The other oh. way around. It was no big deal, man. Uh, we just shook hands when it was over. But now that he's dead, everybody's probably going to point out. Okay. I got okay. to kill the guy just to break the contract. Um, I can hear it. <laughs> okay, I, I, ha I think I might have an idea. An OBS in your sources. Yeah. Uh, put in add audio capture. Uh, add audio output capture. And let me see what to set it to. Uh, set it to uh, either your speaker or your headphones, whatever you're listening to this on, in properties. So, VM, test, audio. Yep, output capture. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that yeah. that might that might help. All right, we'll click on a person and let's see what we, if we can hear them. Okay, let's hope for the best. Perfect. No. No, ha, oh, man. When am I supposed to be hearing it? <laughs> I'm doing music. Then no. No. I hear the sweet anyway, sound. Uh, I got a, um, a collection of Carnage comics in a single book, and this guy has weird powers. Carnage? And, yeah, you know, from Spider-Man. I know. He can apparently, um, travel through the modem. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> He can travel through the modem. Yes. Yes. He can travel through the internet via modem. Got it, Miss Stanley. Yeah. So, what I'll... Here's what I'll no, do. Is... I'll, I'll try to just fill you guys in on relevant details that I hear. Okay. okay. Sounds okay. good to me. I've got a... Sounds good. All right. So, we got the cleaning lady. So, head uh, chef. Name and relationship to the deceased? David Sturgeon. I'm the head chef here at the restaurant. Okay, he was the head chef at the restaurant. I worked here mm -hmm. for two years. He's been working here for year two years. He had one year left on his contract. You don't like your job? I like to cook. He I likes to cook. It. He's good to. to he's good at else. cooking. I want my own place. But he Sam wants his own place. My way. He wants to he run things his way. A few days back. The eagle he had a tried fight. To act like he made me. It's more like the other way around. He had a fight with Sam. Because no Sam deal, says uh, that Sam made this guy dead, what he is. Point the finger at me. Like uh, they, uh, they made up. Can you tell me your movements yesterday from 5 o'clock Okay, so on? where was he? Sure. Here we go. That's easy. Follow by. Staff dinner was at 5. Staff dinner was at 5. Dinner wound down around 10. Dinner wound down around 10. 10, 10 15. And then I was out of here. And he left uh, at 10, 15. You have to go to the fish market every morning at 5, 30 and... Uh, I have to sleep sometimes. Did you go straight home? Yeah. My roommate was away. He went Sheila straight West home. There's a roommate Sleeping. that can supposedly vouch Are for Are you the last kitchen staff okay. in the evening? Around the last. Mm. Usually Manny the dessert chef was hanging out doing his thing. I think he was Manny the out. dessert chef uh, so was the probably the last person to leave. But they both would have been gone by 11. But they would have been gone question. by 11. Is there anyone that hasn't been getting huh. along with Mr. Rupert? Someone here on the staff? Well, Sam had Blake in for a little chat around 2.30. Sam and Blake had a conversation. Um, from what I could hear in the back garden, I think Blake might have been dipping into the till. The, most of the Blake cash, might have been so dipping into the till. Blake might have been and stealing. Too, I might add. Sam wasn't known for paying overly well. Sam was not known Blake's for paying kids, very well. Only. You mean Blake for around the bar mm -hmm. Thank you for your help, Mr. Sturgeon. Okay. Hmm. Huh. That's a lot, and yet no closer in knowing what did it, who did it. Let's check out the Mater D. All right. Your name and relationship to the deceased. Louis Paris Lacy. Oh, like Louis D is Sam. the Mater D. I want you to know I considered Sam a good friend. Considered so Sam a good friend. All my fault. What do you mean, Mr. Paris Lacy? Wait. Well, last night we had a guest for dinner. His last night they had Edward a guest Cowan. for dinner. He's at for dinner. Before. One of those rich, demanding types. Okay. He does something in the film business. Anyway, he called at the last minute and said he had to have a certain table for dinner. When he got here, it was taken. I mean, Edward is the ang Edward split. apparently you know, had a fight. Edward's promised. some kind of producer in Hollywood. I I, maybe he's, he's probably the angry customer. Well, he started to create a real fuss, so Sam comes over to try to smooth things out. It was our busiest time, just after 8 o'clock. Uh, Tom and started to yell. It was right after 8 o'clock. He tried to slug Sam. That was it. Blake comes over. The three of us escort him out. When we get to the parking lot, okay. Tom turns to Sam and says, I'll kill you, you lousy fuck. Oh, so fuck. Tom words. said he was going to kill Sam. Poor Sam. 
doctor says Mr. Talman needs a good night's rest. He even offered to call and check on him in the morning. So you think that Mr. Talman may have actually been good to his word? Well, there's something about the way he said it. It's something uh, about the way myself, this guy's this guy talking. Really capable of murder. I just don't know who else might do it. Mm. Can you describe your movements from around 5 o'clock right, onward so yesterday, Mr. his movements. Sure. I mean, I was here he, the he sort of looks like a villain. It was it's a like he's trying to cry. Yeah, he was here last the night. incident with Talon is the only thing that sticks out for me. Sometimes Sam and I would have a drink at the end of the night. But last night he was a little distracted. Okay, last know. night Sam was distracted. Been working hard lately. So I said goodnight to him in his office and, and left. It was around 11.30. He, okay, so yeah, this guy left at 11.30. I remember looking at the clock on his desk. Sam was on the phone. I mean, he looked kind of funny, but maybe he was just tense. Anyway, on the way home, I stopped at the convenience store, the one on Brigham and Hutch. I bought a pack of cigarettes there. The boy there knows me. Stopped at a convenience and store on the way home, home, bought a pack of cigarettes. Asleep. Guy at the counter knows him. Okay, that's all for now, Mr. Perez Lacey. Thank you very much. Certainly. Detective? Okay, that guy, I noticed a couple, Just especially remind, towards the end, how he almost looked like he was smiling through a lot of it, even when he was wiping his eyes with a hanky. I've got four hours left to interrogate these people. This is bullshit, game. You know, real detectives have days to do this. Yeah, I've watched enough Law yeah. Order to know that's not real. I've watched yeah. enough commentary on CSI episodes I didn't see to know what I'm doing. They wouldn't do this in NCIS. They Sherlock wouldn't Holmes do this <coughs> on Sherlock Star Holmes Trek. didn't have a time limit. Yeah, Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes, Holmes would have changed for a 20. Sherlock Holmes yeah. would have given me some morphine. Sherlock Holmes, <laughs> could have, Sherlock Holmes could have defeated Frieza in five minutes. Oh, wait, wrong lore. <laughs> Take a look at Angry he Customer. Would. He I'm would. Gonna, I'm going to type this guy. So this is the Angry Customer. Angry Do Customer, oh boy. My name Edward Tellman. I am a movie producer. Edward Tellman is Mr. a movie Tellman, producer. I you were a guest movie. Movie. Oh, so he was the guy who was. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been so badly treated in my life. I'll never go to that place again. He'll never go to the place I again. I had an important business. He had an important with business they had associate with him. A specific table. When I arrived, huh, it was taken. And he wanted to have a specific uh, table. Actually, I was upset. So what if I yelled a little? Is that a crime? It's alleged that you threatened Mr. Rupert with murder. Is that true? I might have used that uh, figure of speech, but I haven't murdered anybody. He so might have. Far. He might have said he was going to kill the guy, but he was kidding. My first wife, for instance. Now there's somebody I'd really like to kill. But he loved so to kill his first wife. Mr. Rupert was. Ah, my. Dead. Dead like in murder. Dead like in murder. You guy. Oh man, you know I, I don't know. At first I was Mr. thinking this guy was like a red herring, but he's acting restaurant. really suspicious. Yeah, but to be fair, like killing a guy over a table, I don't know. That seems silly. And again, people killed for. I know, but he does look kind of. Hey, hang on, I gotta hear him. I gotta hear him. Oh, sorry. Anna woke me again this morning. Apparently, he went back home. His wife Thank you for your talked help, to Mr. him. Talman. We'll be back in touch if we have more questions. Um, dead. Life sure is funny. Dead. Life sure is funny. That, those were his last words during the interview. Life is sure is funny. I don't know. Like, he seems unhinged enough to probably kill someone. But at the same time, like a table. So. So is this one of those games where every time you start it, there's like a new like set of clues and suspects or what? I don't know. I, I don't think it's that advanced. It's it literally <laughs> is one CD. Look, it just wow. works. It just works. Let me check a look yes, at the head Tom. bartender here. Yes, it's Tom Howard. It Your just name works. In relationship to the deceased, Blake Farron. I work. This is Sam Blake Farron. Can you tell Blake Mr. Farron whether Farron? anything seemed out of the ordinary? Blake Farron. Did anything Just seem that crazy ordinary? Guess. Okay, Ellen, so. Sam might have been a shade touchy in general. Sam might have been a little touchy. Think that the boss would show up for work dead. 
Um, is the wine cellar locked? Most of the time. We unlock it during normal. This guy's a bad actor. Who has keys? I do. Sam. He has keys to the cellar. Louis the maitre d. Louis has keys to the cellar. That's about it. Hold on. I think, um, I think Maria, Sam's assistant, has a key, too. The assistant has a key to the cellar. Who left the wine cellar last night? I left at 11. Louis said he'd take care of it. He left at 11. Louis said he would take care of it. You might want Sam Rupert dead. You mean, do I know who killed him? No. But I have hope it was Louis. You mean Mrs. Rupert? Well, she had the motive. See, Sam plays around. Okay, Sam plays around. I got a feeling it's been going on for quite a while. Sam plays around, okay. One of their friends. Did he cheat? People probably wonder why she didn't do it sooner. Can you tell me what you did after leaving work last night? Sure. It was early by Sam's standards when I got off, so I went and shot some pool with some guys I know down at Little Richard's on, uh, on Simmons Street. I was there from 11 to 2, 2.30. Hey, any number of people saw me, you can ask. Okay. So he was there from 2 to 2.30. Something I noticed, at least in real-world murders on programs like Forensic Files, is the killer usually has a highly detailed alibi and tends to meander on mundane items of no real importance. Okay. Oddly specific. So we've got a wife and a girlfriend. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that was, that was okay. in my mind for a few minutes. Like, it's like you guys are talking like how how he was like serving wine with someone, possibly proposing to someone, maybe like maybe proposing to the girlfriend. Okay, I have a shot in the dark. Yeah. What if someone knew that he was cheating on his wife? That's why he was acting so weird and like out of character. You know, I just noticed night. that. I just that noticed the girlfriend like that night. And someone was on to him. And what if... So, so that would probably explain why he was so, acting so weird. Let's check out what the girlfriend has to say. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious what the girlfriend has to say. Your name and relationship to the deceased? My name is Mimi Andrews. Mimi Andrews. I was a good friend of Sam's. Good friend of Sam's. Real estate deals for him. Did How real estate deals. Oh. About a year and a half. New we met at a, a dinner for heart half. research. It was held here at the restaurant. March 19th last year. When was the last time you saw or spoke with the deceased? I saw Sam yesterday afternoon around 3 o'clock. We went to look at some land, a commercial acreage near the freight airport. We took my okay. car and then I dropped Sam back off here at the restaurant around 6 o'clock. She dropped you know Sam Andrews, off at the restaurant at 6. I can provide <laughs> you with a lead if that's what you're after. Okay, Try here we David go. Sturgeon, Sam's chef. David had about a year left on his contract. What is David, he saying? David he had a year he had left on his contract. Who was going to set him up in his own place. And he Sam said wouldn't that. hear of it. Sam said if David tried to do anything, he would tie him up in court. Well, uh, wait. Uh, ooh, okay, David so. Was... They had a fight just two days ago in front of half the staff. What's that noise? Them, if you ask me, David had every reason to kill him. Exactly what you did last night. Yeah. What was that? Uh, sure. I stopped by the office to finish up some paperwork. Lana Kindle was there and can verify that for me. Uh, then I went to the Thai place on Pine for takeout on the way home. Went, she went to some I place climbed for into bed and watched the accidental tourist on HBO. And my mother called around 9.30. And she has a very, off by very detailed Thank backstory. Thank you for your help, Miss Andrews. That will be all. Huh. Detective? Three hours down, three hours to go. I lead detail. Okay, right. so apparently she she tried to say that the head chef was on contract with the place, and apparently had gotten a gotten a different job offer. Sam wasn't gonna let him go to this other job offer because Sam is very possessive. I don't remember Sam bringing that up. Sam's dead. He wouldn't bring up anything. I mean, not Sam. The head chef. <laughs> the head chef did. You... Oh, he did? Oh, yeah, oh. well, but not, not in that amount of detail. Yeah. But then again, she had, like, exact times for every single, like, place that she was. So I guess we could... So, 
Like, to the point where not even a normal person would even be that detailed about where they've been. Well, I mean, do you remember what time you went to bed last night? Actually, no. I do. No. <laughs> actually, I didn't. In fact, actually, yes. I went to bed around 2 a.m. Let's hear the wife. Speaking of go to bed, I'm gonna get off too because I gotta go to work tomorrow. Your gotcha. name and relationship. To All right, gotcha. uh, that was kind of mm -hmm. fun. That was kind of fun, guys. I'll try and be on for the next time. Mrs. Rupert, when was the last time you saw your husband? <laughs> yesterday. Okay, so it's just us three. Last you didn't time think I saw her husband didn't show up at home yesterday. last night. You didn't think of contacting the police. My husband had girlfriends. I, mean, I think I took my pills now. She knew that the husband had girlfriends. He began sleeping around. Oh, plural. Okay. Oh no. Sometimes that's awful. That's what I assumed he was doing last night. She Can you tell us your the night at the afternoon, Mrs. Rupert? He was, yeah, yes. he was definitely sleeping around. Mm. I had two women friends. I need to get a her. bottle of water. She had two I friends over here from out of town. That Melinda night. kept a date with her uncle at the restaurant. And we had a ladies' night here. Hmm. The guests left at about 12.30. Okay, so she had guests an with her until like 12.30. It seems... Was your husband acting odd or different in any way lately? No. Nice surprise. He was his usual, charming, preoccupied hmm. self. Thank you for now, Mrs. Rupert. That will be all. That's a short interview. You know, I thought I would feel a Wait. lot more sorry, but I'm not. In a way, I'm relieved. She's relieved that he's dead. Hmm. And I'm back. Must have been a happy marriage. Yeah. So... I love the other one was the assistant. That would be, that'd be like the... Assistant, and we've got the cleaning lady, and we've got the assistant that we haven't listened to. Do we yeah. need to listen to the assistant? I don't think so. I think the suspects are either the wife or the girlfriend. What? Yeah, but what if the other girl was like the assistant or the cleaning lady? Let's try the cleaning lady. Clean, clean, uh, all clean ladies have a lot of dirt. Your name and relationship to the deceased? Abelina Casados. I, uh, I Abelina cleaned here for Mr. Rupert. I have worked for him for four years. And, She's worked for him for four a, years. Very kind and, and nice man. I don't know why anybody would want to hurt him. Can you describe exactly what happened this morning? I, I come in as usual uh, by the back door through the kitchen. I, I unlocked it with my own key. And the kitchen was neat and clean, just like Mr. Sturgeon always leaves it. All right, it. so the kitchen was neat. Um, Everything was I okay this morning. Usually clean the bar first, but for some reason I, I decide to, to start with the wine cellar. She usually Everything cleans the done. bar, and, um, so but I turn this on the morning she decided to clean the wine cellar instead. And that's when I noticed hmm. the wine bottle and the two glasses next to it. Well, sometimes there are glasses there, but, but they never have wine in them. But all of a sudden I don't hear wine hmm. I walk around the other side and oh, there's Mr. Rupert lying on okay, the ground. Okay, so she found she found the body. Do you know anyone, body. Mrs. Casados, uh, who might want to kill Mr. Rupert? Anybody he was not getting along with? Oh no 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 no! Everybody liked Mr. Rupert. He was very good to us. Oh, and his restaurant it was very popular. Busy 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 every night. Mrs. Casados, can you tell me what you did from five o'clock on last night? <laughs> sure. Uh, Hmm. Okay, so some from I five o'clock on. Dinner for my husband, she and made dinner now for have, my husband. To my we now have two hours uh, and twenty five minutes. Making this special uh -huh. quilt. Thanks, game. Well, making mostly we talk quilt. That. And that was over about ten fifteen. And my girlfriend Dolores she was making Louis, a quilt she drove me home, 10, and we had some friends over, and they left. Uh, Can the quilt verify her uh, whereabouts? And then I slept with my husband all night long. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Casados. We'll get back in touch if we have it's any. It's not questions. her, and I really didn't hear anything like useful. Uh. So let's. A likely suspects the restaurant. Okay, so we've got a. Do we have like a map? Oh, we got blueprint. Nice. Okay. All right, so. Bathroom, Sam's office. 
To get to the wine cellar, you have to go through the kitchen, main dining, bar room, go down to the cellar. Oh, shit, there's more. No additional clues. This is your chief speaking. Oh, God. The mayor is all over me. Only the two mayor? The mayor gives murder. a shit? Get me somebody. Okay. The the police chief just just said like you gotta you gotta get me somebody. Take, tell tell me who to tell me who to kill. Tell me you found someone. Lie to me if you have to. Yeah, but tell me you found somebody. Okay, I found somebody. That was a lie, wasn't it? Except for the crime itself, the wine cellar appears undisturbed. There are no signs of fourth century. Huh. Check the bar. No. No. Dining room. No. So really fucking nothing. No clues. Like no Yeah. No clues in the women's room. No what? We found a small found kitchen, a small knife, in kitchen the... knife in the bottom of a wastebasket. It's been wrapped in paper towels. There are several sets of unidentified prints on the... Oh, shit. Traces of blood. Uh. A lab test to see if it's the victims. Oh, fuck. Okay. No I can't make noises. Found some other sources. All right, well, that... detective, only one hour left. I got you have one a hour. Suspect, I assume. Let's see. Do I have a suspect? Well, now that the fucking knife is there, I don't know. I'm thinking head chef. Think. Well, the 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 kitchen is right next to the cellar, along with the restrooms where he could dump the knife. Yeah. So. It's likely. Other sources. Mm. Rupert, uh, reservation computer, Sam Rupert's boiler book, phone records, guide to vintage wine, autopsy report. Not guide to vintage wine. Guide to vintage wine. Uh, repair out first group. Oh god, my eyes oh, are already. The vines occupy spot in the southernmost district. What does this have to do with the murder? Uh, people like it to know where their wine is like from. Non sequitur, I guess. Between 22 to 30 months in New York. Looks like it's a fucking... What was the vintage? 40-something? 50, 59? It was at 59, why? 59 is $425. It's an expensive fucking wine. No. So, alright. Autopsy report. Here we go. Label not found. Go to label maker. What's that? What? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. They're like, oh, no. It's the employees of the game company who made this. It was them. They because you only have only half, an hour, half an hour left, you have automatically defaulted Did to the press conference. Did any conference. celebrities eat at the restaurant last night? Did any of the celebrities? Uh, no. I don't know. Well, the producer said that. Diamond ring found at the crime scene. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, what was it? Three? Oh. Oh, How many carrots no. was it? Was it three? Wait, 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 wait. I think it was. I think it was C. I think yes. it was. The medullum oblongata and the part, of the, part of the brain. Yes. How much money was found on How the victim's person? How much money was found on the victim's person? Oh, 300. According to the autopsy According report, to the how, many autopsy report, how many times was Mr. Night. Was it twice? Was he rumor was Yeah, it was once in the, in the back and twice in the throat. So three times. I think it was twice. I think it was twice, yeah. yeah okay. How many cases of Chateau How many cases of Chateau produced each year? Oh, it was like 22,000 to 30,000. Uh, I don't know why I remembered that. It was weird. Was the door in the white cellar open or... Oh, fuck. Was it closed? Yeah. According to the receipt... According to the receipt found in his pocket at the time of the murder, how many did Simmer pay for the diamond ring? 
Were there any signs of force? Were there any signs of a fourth century? No. What was the name of Edward Townsend? What was the name of the Edward Townsend housekeeper? Uh, Anna. What is the purpose of these questions? A uh, warrant application. Oh fuck! I don't. <laughs> Sure. Motive, weapon, pistol, knife, knife, mallet, hat pin, poison. Uh, confirmed. All right, so maybe confirmed only by sister. Can't be confirmed was alone. Confirmed, confirmed by, by interested party. Confirmed but not. But confirmation is shaky. Suspect was not present at the time. Hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking the sturgeon. I'm not sure why the motive would be. Well, loaded. the surgeon. Well, that surgeon would explain like the quick death. Like the surgeon would know what to do. No, the, the sturgeon, the chef. Oh, oh, oh! oh I think it's a surgeon, but no, the chef. No, yeah. Uh. He can, I. By an interested party, to break what does that contract. Mean? With a uh, fucking knife. Eleven thirty. At eleven. Yeah. <laughs> at eleven thirty. That's when he died. Did am I a correct person? I don't know. I wasn't I, expecting. I really don't. A, I, I wasn't don't. expecting a time limit. Fuck you. I also wasn't expecting like a multiple choice like pop quiz too. So. All right. So. Yes, part. Warrant application went to the district court. And what what happened, game? They're just like it, they're just the starstruck that you got your choice of murder weapon, detective. I'm afraid I have to reject this application. The result of the Please go back and review the facts. What? I'm afraid six hours is up. There's <laughs> another murder that needs your attention. <laughs> Better luck next time. I, I, did, I love, we didn't get it right. It, the, the fucking it, it was wrong. I, we never got to the fucking autopsy. Cause they didn't give us time to get to the autopsy. That's yeah, dumb. We didn't have any fucking time to the autopsy. That's do, dumb. Do, 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 uh, do. You know why, did I have, why did I have six hours to solve do, this? Do, 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 do. <laughs> I will say it is not the head chef. No, you were very incorrect, Lavo. <laughs> It's not the head chef. Wink, wink. It, it was me. It was me. <laughs> it was I. I. Okay, now I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious. To I see if, if this Rupert. thing. Like. I want to see if. Uh... Yes, you want to save. Yeah, I want to save. I want to see if the game does actually change things like if you can play it multiple times or if it's the same that'd be interesting it'll if be like that movie <clears throat> uh clue if it's M. the same Herman did not. yeah that's the guy who made the uh Dido, the, game? the uh the Dido uh, 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 uh the pokemon no <laughs> the font the typeface oh let's see okay do we have report of murder? The crime scene is the crime scene the same? We'll know pretty it, quickly. It, it looks the same. Click on his ass and check his wallet. Ass and hands. Three hundred. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same thing. It's the same. Okay, so it doesn't change. All right, so it's not the head chef. It's not the head chef, and the autopsy didn't support the thing. So we have to hit the autopsy. We have to hear okay. what the autopsy has to say. Yeah. If need be, I can provide a hint. We wanted to see if it was... Oh, don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me the ending. No. I want to figure this out. So other sources, the autopsy. Yeah, this is an any speed run right here, right now. Autopsy report. Okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, restaurant uh, owner wine ordered by state attorney office Caucasian mage 41 uh, deceased well dressed and expensive okay 
containing uh, foreign da, 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 da. Uh, focal blood stains at site are minimum. Wait a minute. Okay, so upper left jacket pocket. Can, okay, jacket and shirt sleeve both uh, have slits caused by penetration by foreign objects. Slits. Short slits. So it was a fucking knife. Slits. Body is adequately nourished. Okay. Excellent uh, muscular versus K eyes are great. Uh, Ambient temperature, temperature of the wine cellar where the body was found is consistent with forty eight degrees. Got it. Time of death, twelve twenty three PM. There's a puncture wound. One centimeter in diameter. Three point eight centimeters beneath the right. Uh slightly behind the earlobed. Wound tracked uh Left lateral musculature through neck, the C1, the C2 vertebrae, piercing the mandulum, uh, medulla and malagata, the base of the brain. So basically, he got stabbed in the fucking brain. Ooh, Total length of the incision it. is approximately nine centimeters from entry point. There appears to be some very slight bruising to the lips. Minor swelling mm. to the incision wounds. Nature of the bruising indicates it occurred shortly before or immediately after death. He got slapped. Someone slayers a presence. Trace amount of foreign saliva in the subject's mouth. Mm. There is a single stab wound to the left anterior frontal region between the 11th. So he kissed somebody. Hmm. It was the girlfriend. The girlfriend killed him. <laughs> so, uh... It must so, wait, it kissed him. Piercing him. Yeah, he got he stabbed in the and it, So this is definitely, like, a crime of passion, because why would you be a dead body? Bruising in the mouth, the right region light does not appear to be the result of blows unrelated to the cause of death. So the yeah. blows are, they're unrelated to the cause of death. Killed long, was killed by a long pin-like object that pierced the brainstem. Oh, he was killed by a not knife. He was by killed a not by, a, knife. by a not knife. But they not knife. Evidence. Well, it's like a knife, but it's not. So we interviewed everybody except the assistant. Yeah, but this is non-testimonial evidence. This isn't like. You have insufficient cause to request these tests to investigate further before requesting this information. Oh, fuck. We actually do have to deal with them. Like, we have to... Oh, we actually have to talk we to have them. To we, okay, so the game is making it so you can't just, like, speed through this, like, numerous times. How am I supposed to submit this to speed.com? Or whatever speed brain site there is out there. computer. McDonald. <laughs> McDonald's. McDonald. It was the clown. Oh yeah, so I looked up that thing you said to put in Google Earth. Yeah. And that was horrifying. I yeah. never want to see that picture again. I found that completely on accident too. I was like, you know, I'm just probably gonna screenshot this and do something with it. Phone records. Oh. Von Jewelers. I need to find that. Uh... Mimi Andrews. Mimi Andrews. Mimi Andrews. <laughs> Phone booth. Allen Road. Who's Mimi Andrews? Uh, oh shit! There are recordings. Oh. Almost like someone was checking to see if Sam Rupert was in. It's my guess that the murderer made this call. Ooh. Okay. So the the should have loved, should have. Like looked at this evidence. Mm. We only had six hours to solve a murder for no fucking reason. So yeah, why not? So he had we had to like skip over a bunch of things, but apparently someone called from a phone booth to see if Sam would pick up the phone at eleven fifty two.
to check and see if he was in the office or if he was down there. Mm. This is the first call that came through from Mimi Andrews. Um, he picked up, so there's no phone message, and he stayed on the phone for about seven minutes. Okay, so that was the call that came in. Oh, Sam, so I've got something real important I need to talk to you about. I'll try again later. Okay. Sam, it's me again. Mimi was trying to call him. Sam, we need to talk tonight. I'll try this number around 11.30. Huh. If I don't reach you, please call me. Huh. Hi, Uncle Sam. This is Belinda. I am really excited about dinner tonight. Okay, yeah, yeah, do. By around 8.15, if that's okay with you. Hmm. Mm. Fluffy Kittens, first time outdoors. Reservation computer. Okay. Babies. One, two, three, four, Other five. Other sources. Six. Oh, that's where I was just there. Alibis. You must see the interview. Oh, fuck you. I don't want to see the interview again. I just saw the interview. Can I, can I, like, here, let me see. Can I, like, click on one? Your name and relationship to the deceased. Done. Saw it. Okay, so this can I. This is an hour of time, detective. Thank five you. Five hours left. We have five hours left to solve the murder, which is bullshit. All right, so now that I saw it, can I, like, just click on it? Or do I have to watch the whole fucking thing? This alibi checks out. I talked to several members of the Stitching Club who saw Avelina Casadas leave with Dolores Ruiz. Mrs. Ruiz reports dropping her friend at home at 10.30. Mr. Casadas was home with friends. Okay, so they her her alibi checks out. It, she did not kill him. She was nowhere near the body at the time of the bodiness. All the other body people were not being around him. I gotta. All right, so I have to go to the fucking suspects, and I have to click on all the ones that we listened to before. So I listened to the Mater D. Already know what his deal is. He You're got eaten by pigs. Uh, head chef. Already know what the head chef deal is. Your name Some relationship. Some kind of giant tarantula thing Detective, crawled out of his this eyes is or whatever. Just to remind. And that's why he has a weird face. Four hours left to investigate the case. Uh, girlfriend. Already know. Your name and Fuck, every time you listen to one, it takes ten minutes off. Uh, stupid. So Your this is how detectives feel. Well, it's just like why is it taking time? Your name and relationship to the deceased. Because the guy well, uh, it's supposed to like simulate the idea of like you know asking all these questions. So, yeah, where were you? Why just six hours? The real well, that that time. We only have six hours to like go through all the shit. I mean, in reality, it takes like maybe like a weeks or I mean, there's months like, even. There's like lab reports. There's like. All kinds of. Yeah, in under six people. hours, which is very unrealistic, especially for the time period. Imagine if, um, like, Law and Order, they actually had to solve a crime in six hours. Well, technically, you do it under 40 minutes when you don't really count the time. Hmm. Your name and yes, all that but... it's, it's just that, like, the, the damn... Uh. This, is, this is bothering me. It's, it, this is like if someone, like, okay, so you find a body... You're a detective. You find a you you get called over. Okay, there's a dead body, and then all of a sudden the the fucking DA walks up to you with a stopwatch and goes, "Go!" And then you have like six hours. You gotta like run to the car. You're running all over the place. You go into like the lab, and you're like tapping your foot on the floor. Like, come on, fucking test results. I mean, that, that... for like six hours, like it's a like it's a fucking TV show. Like this would be a great. Almost like Paul Verhoeven esque parody uh, uh, movie like like reality TV show where it's an act where it's a detective 
solving an actual murder, but they've got six hours to do it, or uh, the murder or the case goes cold. And the killer gets away. And it would be on History Channel. It would probably be on the fucking History Channel. <laughs> Oh, uh, it would be like I don't know. They probably use some like speed running like um, forensic files or something. I don't know. It would, they'll like try to cater to like the gaming crowd with like speed runs. It's yes. like okay, so yeah, speed run this case. But go. But employees at Sam Rupert's do say that they remember that he appeared to be very drunk when he got there, and then he had three more. God, that's terrible off. lighting. That was when he was waiting for his table, and uh, okay, that was when the ruckus so... started with Sam Rupert. I think this alibi sticks. This al his alibi is apparently good. Hmm. This is your chief speaking. Oh my God, the mayor chief. is all over me. I know the mayor Only two wants hours to left eat to solve you. This murder. Get me somebody. <laughs> oh my God. It's not my fault. He has a boar fetish. Girlfriend. Hmm. This is your cannibalism is legal in this universe. Only two hours left to solve yeah. this murder. She lives alone in a secluded area. It's an unnecessary evil. The neighbors, if they. <laughs> what about the head chef? David Sturgeon's girlfriend confirms his alibi. She said that he arrived home Fuck. a little before 11 last night. It was They stayed talking for about an hour or so, and they went to bed sometime damn. after midnight. Mm, she's damn, a damn. Damn, what it's worth. Damn, damn. Know, damn. Really frame frame him anyway. We haven't listened to the fucking assistant yet. I'm gonna listen to the assistant. I just want to... What does the assistant say? What well, would she like the third mistress? Your name in relationship to the deceased? Maria Campbell. Maria Our Campbell is the assistant. The restaurant. Mm -hmm. So you have a good working knowledge of the restaurant. Has yes, a good working knowledge of the restaurant. Ms. Campbell, from your perspective, would you say the employees were happy here? Yes. Okay, so if the well, employees not everyone. were not happy. Sam was having trouble with the chef, David Sturgeon. All of the evidence, David they keep like leave, pointing to the chef. The chef was coming. obviously the fucking I don't red know if herring. You know anything about the restaurant business, but this is a big And it restaurant. wasn't, it wasn't fucking Sam was angry. the angry customer. He'd helped David along to where he'd gotten. David really uh, owes it to, or I should say, owed it to Sam to stay through his It contract. had to be. Anyway, they had a bad the fight white. a few days ago. Sam said they shook hands after the work. All this is point, it all Sam points to a crime of passion. David really had it in. Yes. Anyway, he was afraid yes, the moment the, the moment I figured out, the, I, well, I learned that there, this guy was cheating. You know, yeah. But she also knew about it, so it's yeah. weird how this just like came Did about. Did Mr. Rupert say hmm. do anything unusual? Maybe she just couldn't anything take anything it anymore. Oh, my theory. Apparently there are even other women involved, so. He said he was planning to talk to David again. The I wife going to ask for a went down to there. Last night. <clears throat> Did you see them stabbed together? Stabbed him with no, I, long, I deadly fingernails. Can you tell me your movements after you left work last night? And was about to yes, of course. digest his insides I drove to the and eat him to like a spider. Water, but mm -hmm. the cleaning lady interrupted it. Sports center for and that's why there was all that uh, webbing that was in, the, in the basement. And then a shower <laughs> and went home. I live alone. And because of that, she failed the quest and couldn't get the danger ring. Mm. I'm sorry, I've been playing a lot of Skyrim again recently. Hollow Knight is fun yet infuriating. I want to play it, but I never got the chance to. I will, of course. It's pain and suffering. It's fun. That's most hard games. Let's take a look at the alibis. What's the assistance alibi? This alibi checks. The neighbor said that he talked yeah, with Miss Campbell last night at checks. around the time that. It checks. That she's okay, fine. so we're Detective leaning towards wife and left. maybe girlfriend. You have a suspect, I assume. Yeah, I've got a suspect. It's Detective. Lily Rupert's alibi only is pretty solid. Uh, the two women suspect, guests at her party said that they didn't leave until 12:30. This matches what she said. Her, her sister says solid. they talked until 1:30. If the victim was killed around what about the girlfriend? Midnight, I would say this rules her out. This suspect's alibi checks out, but it's really only good through 9.30 when her mother called. Her alibi checks out, but it's only good till 9.30. Oh, hmm. uh, god damn it. God damn it. <laughs> it's not enough time to get through the fucking evidence. Fuck, why do you only have six goddamn hours? This is bullshit. <laughs> 
because yeah. the medium is on your ass and you got to deal with the big night. man. Like, it, it, it's a process. Uh, did you know the uh, rush on us? This game is How stupid. Many How many was, was the four? Three point four. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. How much was in the person? Three hundred. Yes. I, I feel like it was. It was twice, right? Yes. No. How many cases of Chateau? What was it? Not twice. Each year. It was. It was not. Twenty-two thousand to three hundred thousand. Was the door to the wine cellar found open or closed this morning? But yes. According to the receipt found in his pocket at 42,000. Were there any signs of forced entry? No. What was the name of Edward Talman's housekeeper? Oh, fuck. Was yeah. our Annie or on it? Um, Anna? I think it was Anna. Uh, oh, shit. Anna. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Warrant application. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, well, okay, well, let's. Okay, so we know it's not the chef. We know it was probably a knife, or... I'm gonna say the girlfriend. Girlfriends, yeah. Girlfriend, alibi status... Uh... Can't be... Can't be a... It... The alibi's only good for 9.30. Motive. Uh, it could be either jealousy, love, or sex. That's the problem. Or and, anger, technically. And all three are basically the same thing. Killed him with a hat pin. A oh, hat pin, actually, yeah. Mid he died around like 1230. 1223, to be specific. Yeah. So midnight. Basically midnight. Around midnight, yeah. And dirty application. Not detective, you've put together quite a case. I grant you a warrant to arrest the suspect. Oh shit! We're gonna I arrest hope her. You found your murderer. Gonna arrest Yay. her. Okay, so now we're getting. Now we're going to the second. Going on to the second round. A gentleman friend. Mayor Winthrop actually has stepped forward to what corroborate Miss Andrews' ah, alibi. Fuck. Apparently, they what? started to see each other about two weeks the ago. Mayor According to him, they fall madly in love. In he's trying to, to keep it quiet because he's not legally separated yet. The this explains the phone calls she to Sam Rupert's private mind last mayor. night. She was breaking off their affair. Oh, She's not the God, mayor. what a... Fuck. I'm afraid six hours is Gosh. up. I'm afraid There's six hours is up. Attention. Better luck next time. Better luck this... next time. Fine, I'll just reset the whole goddamn universe. How's that? <laughs> I'm gonna figure this... out who fucking killed this guy. This... Joke's on you. I have a virtual machine. I can control the, the freeze time of the universe. Haha. <laughs> like this, this game is stupid. It's fun, but <sighs> it's it's annoying at how yeah. particular it has to be. So, what we know is he was probably killed by a very, like, thin, like, the clothespin. The clothespin is how he died. Well, we also can't find the clothespin. The clothespin walked away. It was the clothespin! <laughs> it was the ghost! He killed himself! <laughs> it was a reverse suicide. <laughs> it, was, it was reverse murder. <laughs> it so worse. it was okay okay he was uh, killed sometime before midnight he was killed yeah he was killed sometime like 12 23 to be specific or after midnight i guess it's let me take a look at the autopsy report again okay autopsy report Okay, occupation. Where is time of death? Was. Okay, four centimeter. Wait a minute. So. Excellent. Okay. Uh, 
Deceased is clean shaven, pupils fixed, identical cause. Okay, so we have upper left jacket. Jacket says it's slits caused by penetration from object. Temperature of the wine cellar. There is a single puncture wound uh, around. Let's see. There appears to be some very. There's one puncture wound. There's a singer. Okay, so there's a single puncture wound on the neck. And slightly behind wound track, okay. There's appears to be some very slight bruising. There's also a single stab wound left anterior frontal region between the eleventh and twelfth ribs incision. Uh. Puncture wound, so there's three. So there's three. No, 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 I know there's two. Stab occurred, therefore I believe the wound. How was the mayor involved in this? The girlfriend was also screwing the mayor. Yeah, but... <laughs> if Gosh. I, in a, if that got out... Obligate is the lobe controlling respiratory. And mm. As the incision trauma such occurred to deceased. Oh, total function. slack of Therefore, I believe this wound was right, the one that caused the death. Raised, the heart no longer occurred. Uh, in other words, a sap wound occurred after death. Total lack of focal hemorrhage. The stab wound was there to to throw you off. So they knew what they were doing. Or they're they referencing were, the movie after death. They were trying to frame the cook. Uh. So it had to be a person who knew about the beef between the cook and Sam. Which is pretty much everybody. Which is everyone, so that is... <laughs> They'll think so he would... was me. Hang on, let me check the alibi of the Mater D. Which means first I have to, like, fucking talk to the Mater D. Of course. Logically. Do you no, know no, no, who we have? The <clears throat> fucking bartender. You know who we haven't questioned yet? Tyler. Hmm. That's true. His claws would be perfect uh, puncture wounds. Yes. Yeah. Plus he's telepathic. So... <laughs> Like most cats Glenn are. I mean, mine uh, says this horrible part of things to me. Checks out. I did talk to two patients my at the bar, though, who said that he was missing for about 45 minutes. The right voices are still in my head. It's interesting. That matches the estimated time of death on our victim. Oh, oh shit! Head bartender what? was missing during the time of death. Interesting. Let me hear that again. Let me hear that again. Ferran was at Ricardo's most of last night. This part of his alibi checks out. I did talk to two patrons at the bar, though, who said that he was missing for about 45 minutes right around 12 midnight. It's interesting. That matches the estimated yeah, time right of death on our victim. Yeah, right around 12 midnight. Ooh. You've used an hour of time, detective. Okay. So he was a bartender. Well, they, this, what, the Mater D did say that Sam had taken the bartender to talk to him. Hmm. He could have gone down into the basement, stabbed him in the face, and in the, and in the throat, and then eaten the body, and then regurgitated a clone to throw off the investigators. Of course, we're dealing with an evasion of the body snatchers. I didn't exactly. think of that. Exactly. <laughs> How could I be so blind? Invasion of the body snatchers. Let's. Yeah, I'm that confident to talk to the press. Yeah. What? Because I'm that confident to to talk to the press. Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why are we getting paid? 
You have spent less than three hours. Yes, but yes, I'm back. <laughs> but I've been hitting the fucking reset button. This is Groundhog Day. I can Did do any this. Any jokes on you? I can do this whatever I want. Infinite tries, infinite I possibilities. Know. How many carats was the diamond ring mm. found at the crime 3. scene? 4. Is the medulum oblongata up? Yes. How much money was found on the victim's 300. Person? 300. Yeah. According to the autopsy report, Twice. how many times was Mr. Rupert So wait, no, wait. Uh, it was three times. Yeah, because one of them was a... Knife. He wasn't stabbed in this manner. Oh, what does that mean? Mm. According to the autopsy... Uh, once, once, by a Chateau knife, Latour it was once. Each year. Oh, so it's a trick question. Was the door to the wine cellar found open the or closed? The door to the wine cellar is found open or closed. According to the receipt, According to the were there any signs of forced entry? Signs of forced entry? No. What was the name of Edward Talman's housekeeper? Why, it was... Kathleen. Fuck. It was Karen. It looks like you've done your homework, detective. Now you can conduct in-depth interviews with up to three suspects, or go straight to making your warrant application. In either case, good luck. The suspects interview further can only be made at this time. You may choose one, two, or three suspects. You will not be able to remember this screen. Well, I've already seen them. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Head chef, Mater D. Bartender, yeah. Closing the case. Choose your task. Uh... Do you drink wine? Personally, I'm a beer man myself. Do oh, we? so now we get like a second layer of like... Have you ever had a falling out or serious argument with Rupert? No. Not that I remember. Huh. No. So we actually... That it's, that's cool. So we get the context. Yeah. Like, when he wanted to you drink wine. wine. Did you ever have a disagreement with him? Louis, sometimes David. It would come up maybe a couple of times a month. It's just a whole rabbit hole. Okay. Not this yeah. guy. So I, didn't, I didn't get anything out of that. No. Uh, this game is like a sucky version of L.A. Noir. Would you characterize your argument with Rupert as bitter? Man, we both said things we shouldn't have. But it was a serious disagreement between two adults. This guy Sam looks like a robot. His way. You know, he looks like a younger... Um, fuck, what's his face? Uh, he looks like the guy from Spider-Man too. Sometimes I'd taste a new one. Well, which guy from Spider-Man 2? The, the, uh, Very uh, Mr. Azzy. If these he pieces flip, old, uh, Mr. Azzy is old. gonna flip out. I have to know some. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, Tim Curry. He looks like a weirder version of Tim Curry. Uh, choose your task. You mentioned that frequently you've had a nightcap in the summer. Would you ever good bottle of wine? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Sam usually chose. What type of wines do you prefer, Mr. Red Bordeaux, especially the older vintages? Oh, shit. They say it. Red Bordeaux. Oh. Oh, oh no! Boy. He ate. He ate Sam. Well, he'd been arguing with <laughs> the chef. So he's the boar fiend. He's the cannibal. He's the bull. I don't think David had the backer. He's the man eater, man. He's, no, no. he's the Daedra yeah. Prince. <laughs> Sam and David are both. Which Daedra Prince? They often argue over the years. Ball leg ball. Mm. How about we play some Among Us after this? If we oh. ever. 
Uh, let's see, clean the same place. The Major D. Yeah, Major D is sus. I'm leaning towards Major D. Yeah, he's sus. Party at interest party. But what's the motive? What was, it, what was his alibi status? No, wait. Not the major D. The the bartender. Oh, the bartender. Yes, the bartender was the guy who left right around the time that the murder happened. Uh, yeah, it is pretty sus. Motive. <laughs> Anger. Weapon. No, it was sex. <laughs> <laughs> The motive was actually hunger. Okay. I think your motive for this suspect is a bit of a long shot, considering the facts, but I will grant you a warrant. All right, so we get a warrant. Detective, this is your Come on, chief. baby. Just a reminder, uh, four hours left to investigate yeah, we, get, we have four hours left to investigate this. Oh! Ferran was missing from Ricardo's last night at around the time of the murder, but he's got an explanation and it sticks. Oh, Apparently fuck. his ex-wife was chasing him what? down for child who? support payment. His she came in with a friend who waited in the car. Two other people payment. left the bar and saw them talking oh, about the sidewalk. It all matches sucks. up and it gives him a rock solid story. He didn't that do it, boss. That sucks hard. So, uh, bitch of an ex-wife. He was not the imposter. You still have time to make another arrest. I've detective. got time to make another arrest. Okay, so it's not him, then it's the Maitre D. It could have been. It could have been the Maitre D. But what, 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 what was have, the motive? Yeah, what's the motive, though? He seemed to really like the guy. Mm. Sex, maybe? maybe what likely. if he... Yeah, what if he likes, likes him? Yeah. What if he likes, likes him? He likes, likes him. Likes, yeah. likes him. Yeah, he, he, he was angry at all this women that were coming after him. Hmm. I'd be very impressed if that was actually the answer. But Especially for an old game like this. But an old game like this, like, that was the answer. True. But that would be an interesting story. That would be an interesting story if that was the case. Jealousy. Oh no, jealousy is like a double like thing. It could be like, oh, jealous of all the women, or jealous of all the the success that he owns his own business. Midnight. And their Your application. Alibi in the warrant application does not match the suspects. Fuck. Please go back and check again, detective. It, no, no, nothing. Damn. The al no, the Damn. alibi doesn't match the suspect. Uh, by interested party. Maybe it was the wife. Bitch of an ex-wife. Jealousy had pin midnight. Come on. Good work, detective. <laughs> You've put together quite a case. Uh, okay. I grant you a warrant. You gain somewhere. We, we, we can arrest I hope this you guy. found your murderer. Okay. Come on. Come on. How many, how many times do I have to roll these dice? Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on. Wait. Give me a natural D20. I a boss, but a man named Myra Rafino has come forward. Apparently, he's a resident of the same condo complex as Perez Lacey. Well, and um, the two men are waiting. Um, no, he was waiting no, in Perez Lacey's apartment. No. What did he do? We were right. Spent the entire we were night with right. him. This gives uh, him a rock solid alibi. Apparently, he didn't do it. He had a, he had a, a, a buddy. You still have time to make another arrest, uh, detective. Fuck. Good luck. Ah, uh, so it wasn't him. It wasn't him. His alibi checks out. We are the worst detectives in the world. <laughs> I feel like... I had two Guinness. What do you want from me? I feel fucking stupid as hell playing this game. Ah. <laughs> uh, like, uh, Alright, so... Okay, so we know who it's not. It's not... The Matron Dean, it's the not the dean. chef, it's, not the, it's chef. not the girlfriend. The girlfriend. That leaves the, the wife, that leaves the 
And, oh yeah, it's not the bartenders and at least the assistant and the angry guests and the housemaid. I don't believe it's the angry guest. No. No. There's something else confirming him for the murder. Uh, let's the, just... The wife... The wife's alibi is, like, solid. Uh, I don't... What about the assistant? She doesn't have any... There's no motive. There's, there's no... Jealousy, maybe? But I don't no, know. No, it's... She didn't give off anything. It wasn't like... It's like... It's like trying to blame the housekeeper. It... There's no motive maybe? there. I'm gonna be so pissed off if it's the housekeeper, though, <laughs> after saying that. Oh my god. The butler did it. She counted the butler, right? What about mm -hmm. the wife? I feel like maybe the wife. Well, he was expecting the wife, probably, right? No, he was expecting the girlfriend. Because he was gonna propose to the girlfriend. That's my guess. And if the wife found out. Yeah. It's the wife. Just. Oh my god, if that's actually. Oh my god, I'm gonna be really pissed off. Confirmed. Can only be confirmed by sister. I don't Who's remember. Sister? I don't remember her alibi. I don't remember what her alibi was. Can I only be confirmed by sister. Who's sister? There has to be a sister. <laughs> The problem with that is that anger and jealousy sort of go hand in hand when it comes to these sort of things. With this, I'm gonna say... Anger. Hatpin seems to be the, the accepted... And the murder happens like around midnight, <laughs> specifically 12-23. So this is solid, that's solid. This is... Alright, come on. Come on! Come on, Judge! Your Natural D20, come on, baby! Does not match the they suspect. don't match, the alibi Please go back match. and check again. Yeah. The alibi is gone! Fuck! Three hours down, then who's the sister? This game is gone. There's a sister, there's no the sister. The alibi doesn't match, the al but, that, but that doesn't mean anything else. It just means the alibi doesn't match. The alibi doesn't match. Had him. Midnight. Midnight. Then... Uh, confirmed by interested party. Go for bro, just go for sister. Go. For, we already didn't we already do sister? No, I did. Uh... Oh, you did confirm. Okay, yeah. Go for sister. Yeah. Most jealous wives have sisters. I think. I don't know. Don't quote me. Good work, detective. Okay, okay. You've put Good together work. Quite a case. I grant so you a warrant can arrest... to arrest the suspect. So far, we've arrested I hope you three found your people murderer. unjustly. <laughs> <laughs> we already lost their bed. Just keep going. <laughs> She looks like someone who owns a hat pin. Lily Rupert's brother-in-law called Come on. last night. Come on, old Joe's wife is like the oldest one in the book. You can't, you can't tell me Apparently, that's not right. Before he hung up at 1220, which is backed up by phone records, he chatted with his sister-in-law again. This places her at home well, at the time of the murder. Fuck, she didn't do it. She was what? at home. This is so stupid and asinine. She was at home, but I still have time to arrest one other person. Uh. <laughs> oh. I really do think I'm gonna be like getting demerits or something from like this. Who are we arresting today? Uh, Ricky, them. you arrested seven people for thinking they were the murderer and by, I quote, picking them out of the hat? Yeah. So, You're fired. Okay, okay what about. Hmm. It's we not, haven't. We, we've been denying the, the angry guests. We've been denying the angry guests. But there's not a lot to like pinpoint him to the murder. The Mater D. It's not the Mater D. It's not the chef. It's not the girlfriend. It's not the barkeeper. It's not his wife. It better not be the fucking cleaning lady. I swear to God, she went to sleep with her husband. It's not her. The assistant doesn't have a reason. The only other person on this list that it's has the a angry reason girl. is the angry guest. This game will be just the worst ever if it turns out to be the angry guest. Can be confirmed by interest of party. Anger. 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 Hell yeah. Hat pin. Hat pin. Midnight. So oh, I'm gonna be so pissed. I bet it's not him. Good work, detective. Okay, we get, put we, together we get quite an arrest. 
I grant you a for, for the tenth million the fucking time. I hope you found your murderer. I hope you found your murderer. At this point, you've arrested everyone on the planet. Man. <laughs> I hope eternal affairs don't get into this. Wait, here we go. Talman's blood alcohol test results have just come in. According to them, it puts him out cold at the time of the murder oh, last night. Fuck. I'm afraid he's telling the truth, boss. Uh, he didn't commit this crime. Get at least one person. Um, or two people. The assistant and the housekeeper. Oh my god, Good we luck. still have time to make another. We can do one more fucking arrest. It was the, it was the cleaning lady. It's, it's not him. The, the, his blood alcohol, like, means that he's, he's either... Uh, he's either he's either Russian or he was out cold. So it it's, it's not him. So it leaves the assistant and the cleaning woman. It leaves the assistant and the cleaning woman. Cleaning woman. The yes, question is, is, but why? Because she's the butler. Did we and actually? Was... Wait a minute. Did we already do the the? The bartender? Did we already do him? We already did the bartender. He owes child support. Right. Fuck, why? The girlfriend is sleeping with the mayor. <sighs> it's it can't be the cleaning lady. It cannot be the motherfucking cleaning lady. No. I, I mean, swear to god, it can't be the cleaning lady. I'm going with the assistant. Okay, if this is wrong. We both know what the actual answer is gonna be. That's bullshit. Can't uh, what was her hurt. alibi? Her alibi, I don't remember. I don't fucking remember what her alibi is. Can be confirmed only by sister. Maybe she has a sister. And But what would the motive be? Because she never expressed any motive. Shit. Uh, jealousy. Probably. Uh, any jealousy. Midnight. Probably. Uh, th this is not how detectives do their work. What well, they don't have like a they don't have like a like um this, this like a how... Google Doc of like phrases or keywords. I might be do it this like is... oh I I think it's this one. No no no. It'd be more around like sex or love. Yeah. This is how small town sheriffs operate. Yeah, but Look with small town sheriffs, they have like a dartboard and they throw out random ones to see which one they get. Yeah, probably them. God damn it, I was hoping I was gonna hit the minority. Oh god, dude. <laughs> All right. They just have like pictures and they throw dartboards at them. The Fuck, the alibi doesn't match. match the suspect. The alibi doesn't Please match. Please go back and check Shit. it out. This is your chief speaking. Okay. I guess we're just gonna keep on clicking random alibis. So we're just gonna fucking keep Get clicking because it's not the goddamn cleaning lady. I refuse to believe that it is the fucking cleaning lady, okay? What if it is the cleaning lady? Not be confirmed. Listen, if Arnold Schwarzenegger ever taught me something, it's that usually the cleaning lady. Motive sex. Maybe. Hop in. Good night. Jealousy, anger, jealousy. Yeah, the jealous. problem is, is those two, though, they really do contrast with each other. Like it'd be an. Move. Work, detective. Okay, all you right. Put we got it quite a case. <laughs> I grant you a warrant to arrest the suspect. We got it. We got it. We got a hit. You found your come on, come on, come, come on. on. Don't be the motherfucking cleaning lady. That's bullshit. It's not. Come on, D twenty, baby. Come on. I got a help. I got a plus modifier. Don't do this to me. Uh huh. Ah, oh, she loved him. So it was the assistant. He was never gonna love me. And he was never going to love her. The ring was it. I knew when he bought the ring for Mimi, she he bought... was going to leave his wife and oh, ask her fuck. to marry him. Oh, it was her. I kept thinking he was going to figure it out. She didn't even love him, the bitch. I, I can't believe Bruce Campbell's sister would do this. That it was me he loved. I can't believe Palpatine would do this. <laughs> so I, did I can't believe I Palpatine killed all the Jedi. <laughs> I can't believe Anakin so, killed all the kids. Nothing. So, nothing so yeah, she she loved him. He wasn't gonna love her back. That's all I care about. I must admit, I'm pretty impressed that you saw past the knife. God. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. We I feel stupid. We didn't really see past the knife. She's. She's at, she's like saying like, I'm so impressed with your police work. 
Uh, I mean, to, yeah, she did say know. one thing that she said she had extensive knowledge of her, the surroundings. Like, she knew where. I was like, oh, that probably could have been it, but. Uh. Oh, well, at least we're gonna get a promotion for false imprisonment. <laughs> <laughs> we received, like, seven <laughs> different people, and we get a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> well, we solved the murder of I'm so impressed I'm promoting you to police commissioner. <laughs> so in the end, it turned out to be me. I killed Sam Rupert. So dun, in dun, the end, dun, it turns dun, out dun. That, that police work and, and uh, gumption are no match for just rolling dice and seeing what happens. It's, it's, all, it's all RNG. Everyone knows that real police work is all RNG. Fucking RNG Jesus has to smile on you before anything happens. Two-Face. So, so Two-Face is right, then. <laughs> Congratulations, Weasel. Thanks, I. And no one was harmed in the process, both mentally and physically. So Two-Face was right. Justice is like a flip of a coin. Well, it's more yeah. like uh, Justice is like randomly clicking on an Excel spreadsheet until an FMV plays. No, really, it is. You know, it's just like, and it's like a dartboard. You just throw up random people, and whoever gets hit, it's the guilty person. <laughs> I still say it was the robots and the aliens that killed But this ain't a. There is a. Is um, an, actual, an actual mystery game? Uh, it's stupid. Well, we solved it. Well, yeah. by solve, you mean we clicked random things and hoped for yeah, the best. Yeah, by solve, we mean we cl I clicked random th I, I clicked random parts of an Excel spreadsheet, and eventually I got it to, to work. And to be fair, the least guilty person was the guilty person. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How are you yeah. tonight, Weasel? What? How are you tonight, Weasel? I'm tired. Uh, anyway, there was a... um. A robot chicken sketch with two face, and, we, and he, he gets his face burned more. That's yeah, fun. I, I always like the uh, robot chicken. All I right, post well, it in general. No, but you know what? That's ah. that's that whole thing. Now that I know it's the assistant, I kind of feel like going back through and playing it again, just to see if I can pick up on it. Cause there's nothing. There's literally nothing. You know what? Cause it's thing... like the hat needles, right? The hat pins. What? It... She doesn't, she's not. She's not wearing a fucking hat. There's nothing. There's nothing that says like, oh yeah, the uniform she wore with that big stupid hat. None of that. The only, th the only thing that she like gives a, but not even give away. The thing that she says that's would like give ideas about how she knows the layout. She's like, oh yeah, I have extensive layout for the entire place. It's like, yes, she would technically know where to, like, store certain stuff. Yeah, her along in case with a she... dozen other people. Yeah, exactly. But that's, like, the only thing I can think of. Hmm. Well, mm -hmm. I, you know what? I'm almost, well, I'm, I'm kind of, like, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm thinking, like, wait a second, what clues were there? So maybe a follow-up? Uh, if I find the sec there's it's just this is a series there's like like six of these apparently and it was all the assistant every time <laughs> it was all the every one of them is the same murderer it's weird like how did you know <laughs> tap yes. data to fill in blank with plausible causes check each person's alibi i kind of expected this to take a lot longer too that that's another thing I think this took what less than an hour, maybe an hour, over an uh, hour. Uh, less than two hours. This is about wow. As, this would actually this stream has lasted about as long as I would expect a motion picture adaptation of this to last. About an hour and forty three minutes. Unless it's just a Snyder cut and it's like four hours. And it's filmed in like four by three, three, four, four, three, four K HD. Because because that was the the aspect ratio of monitors. Oh, uh, back in the good old days. Three by six or something. Uh, yeah, that was the good old days. No, not three Probably. by six. That'd be like vertical. Back when I saw I had like my Macintosh three or something. I was playing yeah, Star we... Wars Pod Racer. Good times. Mm. Yeah, no. The more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm thinking like that's not. I mean, at least it wasn't the fucking cleaning lady. 
It would have been funny if it was the cleaning lady. I would have been pissed off if it was the cleaning lady. It was like, it's like, yeah, he got me pregnant and wouldn't pay the child support or something like that. That's <laughs> yeah, the cleaning lady. She, You click on her and she goes like, ah, the rat's spoiled again. She you spoiled me once pulls again. Pulls off her mask and it's Donald Pleasance. I should have known you would be able to spot me. The infamous baby-faced killer. <laughs> well, you have not won. And he throws a fucking gas canister down on the ground and explodes and he vanishes. Gee, detective, it sure was a tough case, but you cracked it wide open. Yet then another Ryan jo- body on the pile for the baby face killer. And Ryan Johnson's just like, this will be an epic movie. Ryan Johnson is sitting there like, yeah. <laughs> But then it turns out the detective killed all of them. And, <laughs> and Palpatine was alive. Palpatine was alive. I'm sorry, that was like the dumbest there thing they could have done for that third movie. To this game. Somehow. Guys, guys, somehow Palpatine has returned. Like I know it was like I know he like ripped it from the comics, but even still. Somehow he has returned. Somehow. Alright, well that that about does it for this. Um, yeah because uh, there's i honestly believe that this one was kind of cheap and i see myself being promoted to uh chief of police pretty soon if i'm yeah, being honest I, I, I gotta be honest if this is what police work is like, if arresting yeah. seven minorities like gets me there then hell yeah God. Mm. stop i don't think any of them were minorities though actually, i actually think cleaning one of them was lady, but still the clean lady, lady was it's <laughs> just a whole other thing yeah but anyway this is cute fuzzy weasel have a good night somehow palpatine has returned <laughs>